previously on Let's Play Skyrim. Welcome to my first episode in the Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, cat people are awesome. Just like... Rah. What's up guys, I'm back with episode 2 of my Let's Play Skyrim series. Right now we are chopping up some Imperial troops and all that good stuff. I'm still learning the game uh, at this point in the video. Um, and just a few announcements. Uh, one, I have started doing live commentary when I'm playing uh, Skyrim now, but I think the next two or three episodes will have me doing post commentary. Um, but it will switch to live commentary eventually, and that's actually is turning out to be more easy for me. Uh, so, anyways, also at this point in the game, we're we're attempting to escape this uh, kind of dungeon lair here, and uh, we've got some combat going on here between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks, I think. Um, oh yeah, this this brings me to a point about magic, and I I still haven't used any spells in the game yet um, and I'm pretty sure I start out with some and I have scrolls to learn other abilities so I might try that out sometime soon um, and the other big thing regarding the let's play is I think I might also switch this to not necessarily a let's play but just kind of my experiences in Skyrim uh, forever for, for however long I play it and um, the reason for that is, one, there's just so many side quests, it's just crazy, and I don't want to just do the main quests, and plus I, I don't think I could really tell between the main quest and the side quests uh, exactly. Um, and two, I'm, I think, uh, I read this somewhere, that there's infinite quests in Skyrim, as in there's infinitely generated uh, quests, and the game is insanely long, so it's not necessarily going to be... Uh, me recording all of my experience and then editing it and putting it together. I'm just going to start recording, you know, cool stuff and uh, important moments and things like that. So it'll just be more of my experiences rather than a walkthrough of the game. So um, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Just want to hear some opinions. Um, in the last video, I didn't get very many comments either. So just just let me know what you think of the series, guys. Let me know. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, and all that good stuff. Alright, this part here, um, this is actually really cool. Well, I, <laughs> this beginning part is, uh, pretty much a fail. Uh, just watch that. And then I try and jump up over here. That doesn't work. I uh, jump up over here. That's not working either. So I just go down here and get back up but uh, this part is where I get my bow for the first time and I really want to uh, start specking or training more perks in bows because those things are freaking fun to use and uh, just feels so satisfying when you shoot something with them so I uh, you know I think my archetype is gonna be uh, kinda like warrior one-hander and a shield and uh, secondary is gonna be a archer so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit about my character. And we're progressing through the dungeon. Let's see. We've got about two minutes left here. And, you know, this whole beginning part, getting out of this dungeon, is really just to show you the, uh, the beginning of the game. And, like, for example, this part, uh, it, it'll, you can use some archery. Uh, they let you experience you know, different types of gameplay in the game. And for example, a little bit up here, there's a bear that we have to sneak past. And that's uh, introducing you to thievery and things like that. And just a another side note, I know I talked about this in my other video, but I mean, the environment is just insane. I know there's like over 150 dungeons, or exactly 150 dungeons, all custom made like this, and I mean, like, the rivers, the effects are just, it's, it's amazing that they were able to do this, um, and it just looks awesome. The roots on the plants that come out is just crazy. Uh, and then this part coming up here is an encounter with spiders, and I thought I was actually going to die here, but uh, I, I ended up living, spoiler alert, but yeah, these things are, I don't like spiders so far, and in the first dungeon, you have to 
face this huge spider, which I th might have died on a few times, I don't know. Um, but these were actually relatively easy to take down. Uh, and we got one more left here. I don't even think I did anything there. But, uh, yeah, then I looted their bodies, and I uh, cut through that footage, by the way, because it's quite boring. Um, the looting process. And I don't even know what I'm doing here, blocking and stuff. And, okay, yeah, coming up here is the part where you have to sneak past the bears, or the bear. And I did speed it up because it kind of took a while, and she, uh, <laughs> woke up a few times. Uh, and I also got rid of a lot of my loot over here because uh, I was way too full on uh, supplies. So anyways, uh, moving on, you have to sneak past this bear here. Uh, basically, you just press a button which keeps you kind of like stealth and hidden. Uh, and just make sure you don't wake her up. You could probably fight her if you actually wanted to, but uh, I just wanted to kind of sneak past. And then from there, you're pretty much out of the you know, out of the dungeon, and uh, just walk up here, and you go to Skyrim, and that ends it for this episode. I know it was uh, like a lot shorter than the last episode, but uh, that one had a lot of cinematics and things like that. So let me know how you like this uh, episode in the comments below, guys. Leave your honest thoughts and opinions, like, favorite, uh, share the video around, whatever you guys want to do. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be posting a lot more of these very shortly. So once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And thanks for watching, and thanks for watching.